Bergeron, Bergeron, Bergeron. You think about this guy's career, the Selkies. Patrice Bergeron has been the poster child for top two-way centers in the game. What a fantastic career Patrice Bergeron has had. Certainly on his way to the Hall of Fame. Patrice Bergeron began his road to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2003. A second round pick in the vaunted 03 draft, Bergeron wasted no time showcasing the consistency that came to define his career, breaking camp with the Bruins that fall at just 18 years old. Mature beyond his years, at age 21, he was named an alternate captain and wore the A for 14 seasons until inheriting the captaincy after Zdeno Chara's departure in 2020. He's done so much for the team, for the organization, for the community, so unbelievable uh, uh, captain and leader. I've never seen such a leader leading on and off the ice. You get to that point where everybody's like, all right, you know, we did enough today, and he just blows right through that, puts himself through even more pain just to, to continue to get better and better. Over 400 goals and 1,000 points, but Bergeron's legacy isn't one of offensive excellence. Rather, it's one of sacrifice, elevating his game, allowing his Bruin teammates to find success on the score sheets. That sacrifice is a hallmark of the winning culture that he helped curate in Boston. And Bergeron did plenty of winning, including in 2011, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. Two goals for Bergeron ahead of his cup-raising moment. Although still a young man in his mid-20s, Patrice Bergeron, the longest-serving Bruin, has the cup. And then there was also the 04 World Championships, the 05 World Juniors, the 2010 Olympics, the 2014 Olympics, the 2016 World Cup. Often donning the Maple Leaf alongside Bergeron, Sidney Crosby. The two superstars showcased an undeniable chemistry, grabbing gold after gold after gold. Despite never chasing individual accolades, Bergeron's game was too strong not to reward, and then reward again and again. And this year's Frank J. Selke trophy goes to Patrice Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron. The Frank J. Selke trophy was captured by Patrice Bergeron. Bergeron has won the Selke trophy as the league's best defensive forward a record six times, two more than the previous record holder, Bob Gainey, whose defensive impact on the game was such that the NHL invented the trophy to quantify his accomplishments. He's a legend of the game and someone that I looked up to, so uh, uh, it's, it's very special. People are talking about renaming the Selkie Trophy to the Bergeron. Whether they rename the trophy or not, Bergeron will long be remembered as one of the most complete players to ever play the game. And in three years' time, he'll take a well-deserved spot in the Hockey Hall of Fame.